it's good to see you. We're going to set up an HTTPS connection together that's accessible to devices on our local network. The configuration I will be demonstrating with is a Node.js and Express.js setup I walk through in another tutorial. The links to this tutorial and the code we'll be starting with are found in the description. Let's start by looking at our HTML. In short, the script tag online7 shows that we're importing some JavaScript from A-Frame over the internet. On line 12, we can see that we're requesting a system resource, the camera. If we run this app and access the site, we'll be met with a request from A-Frame. It won't let us use any features without being on HTTPS. If we add HTTPS, colon slash slash to our address, we'll get a page telling us our app cannot currently provide a connection like that. The S in HTTPS means secure. Without the S, all the data we send to the website can be accessed by anyone on the same network. It's unencrypted. With the S, only the site and the device accessing it should see the data. It's encrypted and much harder to decipher. For more information on HTTPS, I linked a short animated video in the description. To get HTTPS on our local network, we need a private key and a certificate. To get these set up, we're going to use a tool called OpenSSL. OpenSSL is free and works great on local networks. If you ever want HTTPS on the internet, you may need a paid solution from a known entity called a certificate authority. For now, let's set up using OpenSSL. I left a link in the description to the download website. It's called slproweb.com. Scroll down to the download section. I chose to download the one recommended for software developers. To do this, just click the exe link. Once the download is complete, double click the file. You may continue with the default settings. Once installed, it may ask you to donate. You can click the checkbox of your preference or unselect the checkboxes and click finish. Time to create our private key. Open the folder with your project and make a new keys folder. Copy the path in the top bar. Open a PowerShell window and type CD, then paste the path we copied in quotations. Sometimes Windows gets confused if we don't put the path in quotations. Now, let's tell OpenSSL to make us a key. Type OpenSSL Gen RSA hyphen out server.key 2048 and hit enter. This makes the server.key file in our folder. Next, we'll want a certificate signing request or CSR. A CSR is the request for a certificate that says who we are to devices connecting to our server. The CSR also holds the public key that will be handed out along with our certificate. For more information on CSRs and keys, you can check out the videos linked in the description. To get our CSR, we need to type the following command, open SSL req hyphen new hyphen key server dot key hyphen out server dot csr this will ask us to fill out what will be on our certificate since we're only using this locally we can fill it out however we want now that we have the request let's make our certificate certificates all have an expiration date so let's do 365 days the command to make a certificate is this, open SSL x509 hyphen req hyphen days 365 hyphen in server dot csr hyphen sign key server dot key hyphen out server dot crt. Now we have all this information in our keys folder. Let's open our app.js and tell our server about these keys. We're going to add two new constants, one for HTTPS and one for FS or file system. After app.get, let's add another constant called options. This is where we'll store the location to our keys and certificates. In options, add a line for key. Using this fs .read file sync method, and giving it the location of our key. 
Then do the same thing for our certificate. Let's replace app.listen with https.createServer. Give that HTTPS server our options, which has the keys and certificate, as well as our app constant, which hosts our express.js services. Now we can run the server again, and we should get different results. If you're still seeing an error, try to make sure your website begins with https colon forward slash forward slash. The page should now provide you a warning instead of outright refusing to connect. We can click advanced to see more information. The warning is because the certificate is self-signed which is exactly what we just did. Since we know that this is our own server, we can proceed. The website no longer gives us an alert because we are now running over HTTPS. And look at that. Together, we used OpenSSL to get HTTPS set up for our local server.